Hi everyone, you can see right here over my shoulder the uh, heat pump unit. I uh, just wanted to let you know that uh, the techs were here yesterday. They're returning again today and it's looking uh, looking pretty good. So uh, I'll uh, give you a full update a little later in the week, but uh, just wanted to uh, let you know uh, the beginning of the good news. And uh, why don't you join me inside uh, for more uh, of uh, today's talk. Well, hi everyone, I made it back inside and I uh, do want to uh, talk to you uh, for a moment about about talking. Uh, I guess it sort of relates to uh, the whole concept of air. Uh, you know, over the last little while we've uh, had our air conditioning down and it has been uh, hot, uh, hotter at times than others. Uh, that whole matter of uh, cooling off the air has made me uh, think about the uh, the fact that uh, there's a statement in uh, in the New Testament, in fact, it's a statement in the mouth of Paul about talking and about air. And uh, at one point, he uh, expresses uh, almost in a frustrated tone with uh, the people at Corinth uh, their uh, fixation on uh, language and on talking and on the uh, missing the whole point of uh, speaking and uh, talking clearly. Uh, why do we uh, seek to uh, talk clearly? Why do we seek to uh, speak in a manner that is uh, fitting and that is uh, clear so that others would hear and know what we're saying? Uh, we do it because uh, we are communicating uh, the good news of Jesus Christ. Uh, the, the good news is more than uh, that the air conditioner is fixed. It's more than that. It's way beyond that. Uh, the good news is that Jesus Christ uh, died on the cross, uh, was buried, rose again the third day so that we can be forgiven, that he paid the price for us. Paul, uh, in the, the 14th chapter of his first uh, letter, uh, conveyed that, that aspect and saying, uh, if I were to speak... Uh, in a way in which it couldn't be understood, it would be just like throwing my words up into the air, just speaking into, into thin air. Not much use, not much good for anyone. And he concludes that, uh, that chapter by saying, we should desire the gifts that build up the church. That we should be people who have a heart of uh, seeking to build up others and uh, building up the, uh, the local church and the church uh, around the world. And so that we should be speaking and articulating clearly uh, what Jesus Christ has done. Better one ten penny nail nailed firmly home than 25 tacks thrown all over the place. Uh, those were wise words uh, offered by a preacher long ago named Spurgeon. I'd rather hit one ten penny nail home strong rather than have a whole bunch of tacks flying here, there, and everywhere. And you know what ends up happening with stray tacks? Yeah, they end up in my tires somehow. Uh, you have a great day. God bless you.